Hey guys, what's going on? I'm making a simple instructional video on uh, Sinojo Mod 13 uh, LG G4 just to give you guys a little idea of what it looks like and uh, what it is and what it has and what it offers and everything. So we're running the Sinojo Mod 13 February 18 build. That's my model of the device H811. We got the Android version right here. One thing. Now moving on, um, basically, options start from here so we got a simple wi-fi option as normal uh, at this very time it's not detecting five gigahertz routers and networks so we're stuck with 2.4s at this time as you can see it says 2.4 over here move them back we got the bluetooth option bluetooth is working so far everything's working good a cellular network a cellular network is working fine as well we don't have a sim so we can't turn it on data usage um we got more over here, so we got the airplane mode, tethering, and portable hotspot, portable Wi-Fi hotspot set up. All these menus for the hotspot, and then we got the VPN section over here. We can add anything or leave it always on. Emergency broadcast, we have the NFC along with Android Beam and uh, Tap and Pay ready to work. Now going back, we got the sounds over here. Uh, we got a few options, ringtone, uh, media, alarm. You can link ringtone notification volumes which is pretty cool or just if, if you don't want them to be linked together you can just take that off and make them separate so you can control your notification volume on one level and control your ringer on another level so yeah that's always good uh, that's always good thing to have um, you can have the increasing ring volume option lunch music app uh, when you connect a headset to your phone which is you know which is can be useful um, vibrate options down here and uh, we get other sounds over here and then, uh, as you can see, there's a few options for other sounds here. Dial pad tones, touch tones, so sounds, lock screens, and, and stuff like that. So, um, and then we got the charging sounds over here. If, if, you know, you guys, I don't know if you do, but if you do like it, it's a good thing to have. Um, so that's, that's the sounds pretty much. And then we got the display and lights uh, over here. So we got the brightness level where you can pretty much mess around with that. We got adaptive brightness. Uh, we got live display, which I use this. It's pretty. It's pretty awesome. I use it as automatic. Uh, you know, live display is pretty good, and it, it you know helps out a lot, especially at night. Uh, we got the rotation setting: double tap to wake, double tap to sleep. We got the sleep uh, after one minute of inactivity. Wake up, wake unplugged. Turn this. So I don't like that. I'm gonna turn that off. Cast. You got the cast option if you wanted to cast towards a near device to you. Wallpapers, expanded desktop, LC density. Um, Daydream font size, then we got battery lights, battery light, notification light right over here. These are all customizable to suit your needs, so that's that's pretty cool. Now going back, we got themes on the next section. We only have one theme at the moment, but you are able to pretty much uh, customize this theme and even get more from up here if you needed to. But um, we're not going to do that at this time, so yeah. And then we got notifications uh, over here, so we, you know we got a heads up, do not disturb when device is locked. You can customize, don't show notifications at all, show all notifications, app notifications, uh, notification access. You have all these different things that you can uh, filter and, and uh, customize. Then we got the lock screen option over here. Um, at this very time, I don't have anything set because I personally don't use lock screen, but you know. Um, this is the current lock, lock options that we have for the lock screen for security um, at this time on this device actually because other devices on Sinoji Mod 13 could be very well different and have more options or less options but this is just a basic review that I'm giving out over here um, so we're gonna go to buttons next uh, we got the we can even customize the buttons that's why I love Sinoji Mod over stock run by the end of this video you'll see why so many people choose Sinoji Mod over stock run and um, so we got left-handed mode for you know easier navigation. We got show our keys while typing. We can do that. Buttons and layout. You can customize your buttons and layout. Um, what else? We got power menu button, so we can customize the power menu. We got screenshot. We can add a sound panel, anything you want. Um, and call. You know we have this option too, which is I believe is available on stock as well. Um, press power button twice for camera. Then there's uh, that as well apparently. And then uh, volume buttons, wake up device, and you just have all these different uh, reorient swap volume buttons. You have all these different options for buttons and layouts. 
So yeah, and then we got the battery um, over here. So as you can see, the screen is using about 6%, 52% uh, battery left. Um, I'm not really using it that extreme, and I haven't really used this device up to a certain point where I needed extra battery. This has always had uh, more than enough battery life for me. It's provided pretty good battery life, Com especially comparing to uh, stock ROM. This is much better. And then you have the battery server uh, where you can con control the battery server thing and um, basically the options and stuff. And then what do we got? Security next. Uh, you know, basic security options. Known sources, message limiting, absolute usage, and all that kind of good stuff. Then uh, we go to memory, which we got over here, which this is a uh, 32 GB memory. So, yeah. Um, users, obviously, over here. And then we got system profiles. You have the option of making your own profile from here or just um, using one of these profiles that is available over here, which they're all pretty good. Status bar. So this would be the status bar up here. And we got status bar icons where you can pretty much take these off or add them to the status bar. Like cast, you know, I don't need that. I don't need a hotspot. I don't use Bluetooth so much, for example. You know what I mean? So not a work profile. You know, not Ethernet and all that, but you can, you know, control all that or remove all that. And you actually can modify your clock style. You can put it in the center if you wanted to. Or you could put it in the right, or you could even add an AM PM style or not even have an AM PM style. A bigger one or a smaller one perhaps. So that's pretty good. We got battery icons, we can put it as a text in general, we can change it to a circle, all that kind of good stuff. Um we got brightness controls, show notification counts, a quick pull down. So, you know, um, you got all these options that you can customize. And then moving next is the apps, obviously. So this is where you control all the apps. Um, you know, show system, reset app preferences, whatever you need to do. You can take care of it from there. Uninstalling an app, killing an app, disabling it, whatever. And then we got the account section. This is where you would add your accounts, pretty much. Um, we support it. So I know it supports every account, pretty much. Exchange, Google, and all that, of course. We got privacy over here. So you can check your privacy guard, block numbers, list, assignment mod statistics, protected apps. Etc. Etc. So, yep. And then uh, obviously we got the Google uh, app over here as well, where you got all the options for sign-in security and all that crap. Yep. And then oh, excuse my language. And then uh, we got location settings over here. Uh, we got location mode off, uh, recent location request, blah blah. So we got all that. Oh, and GPS is completely working perfectly fine. Um, you can you had a device only or battery saving or high accuracy. They're perfectly working fine. At this time and then we got the date and time where you can automatically set it off of course or manually set it yourself either way works accessibility as well um, you know you can use other apps over inside here and pretty much um, manage the accessibility options that are offered like large text for instance or um, you know high contrast text or stuff like that you know um, so yeah and then moving on from that, uh, what else do we got over here to show you guys? We have uh, storage and USB, obviously, which is just basic of apps and everything. You know, you don't really get much over here. And then um, we've got language and input, which is where the keyboard is. Uh, you can manage your keyboard, all the layouts and appearance and layouts. Sorry about that. You can change the team color, perhaps, uh, you know, custom input styles that you could have or not have. You could delete or, you know, for example, and you can even add a custom keyboards that you're looking for and then you got the gesture type and text correction corrections advanced um key pop up dismiss delay you know all these different stuff that you can uh, customize and then uh once we got it there it's backup and reset it's the same thing obviously normal backup reset we got printing you know services installed developer options as well we have advanced reboot which is really great which gives you this option right here so if you press reboot right now, yeah, you can reboot, soft reboot, recovery, bootloader, or just normal reboot. All in the same option. So that's great. That's what that does. And then OEM unlocking for the custom ROM and the routing. Android debugging, of course. Uh, and what I like to do is always uh, turn off my animation skills over here. All to zero, pretty much. It does help a lot. And it makes the device faster as well. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that. So this is what basically developer options is. And uh, pretty basic developer's options. And then you guys have seen about phone, and then this is where you take an update of your phone if you need to. Um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching the basic, uh, you know, basic uh, tutorial of Sinology Mod 13, or basic review, if you will. Not really a tutorial, but um, yeah. So that's basically where you got all the options in the settings, and then, um, you know, this is your menu, or launcher, if you will. 
and then you know you got audio effects which is Sino Jamada app uh, the camera snap this is also Sino Jamada app which I personally think is, is really good um, I think it's pretty cool um, it's a new newer app uh, from Sino Jamada 12 it's definitely been upgraded so that's cool and uh, one more thing is that I would like to tell you guys is that yeah so the audio effects is from Sino Jamada C apps uh, the cameras from Sino Jamada apps we got a few you know contacts uh, we got screencast uh, sound recorder the themes package and all that kind of good stuff that they carry messaging app as well and all that so yeah guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this uh little review of sino 13 for lg g4 and i hope you guys consider installing it on your device as well and um hope i haven't been too annoying or i hope i haven't been misplacing a lot of words um anyways thank you guys for watching and i hope this helps again have a good day bye bye